Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with some Bounty Rush. It's very been a very long time. Um, I have been practicing my big mom getting bigger, getting bigger, getting better with her, doing perfectly fine, enjoying the game. Uh, it's Halloween season. I don't know if you know this about me, but the reason I started playing Bounty Rush is because of a video Defree did based on Perona. And um, I absolutely love Perona. I liked her design. Uh, I think I'm one of the very few people that outright will say Perona is their favorite One Piece girl, because there's a plenty of good girls to choose from. Little, plenty of gigantically busty women that you can choose from that are all very good, all very well loved. Vivi is probably the one most people like, and if it's not Vivi, then it's <laughs> any of the number of any of them. There's a lot to pick from, to be honest. But I digress. So today's video, I'm going to be using a little bit of Perona. I am still learning her, so this is really learning more with Perona because SS PvP is maybe the worst place you want to play as. So the reason Big Mom is also on the team, um, she's there in case anyone decides to run multiple Blackbeards and multiple Shanks on the opposing side. She's there to be the great equalizer because um, this game has a lot of good characters that came after Blackbeard and Shanks, but Blackbeard and Shanks are so autopilot that people just pick Blackbeard and Shanks. It's like, yeah, there's plenty of uni good units out there, but my Blackbeard and Shanks are already level 100 and already outclass a good support, a good amount of units. Not a lot of weakness to them. Um, their one weakness, I think, is at least Big Mom. And the one weakness, the big weakness she has is that she crumbles to any uh, green types. And she doesn't do a lot of damage, um, usually. At least the way I have her built. Um, I could definitely, if I ever get her to level 100, she'll definitely have a buttload of damage. But for where she is right now, which is level 80, I think it's actually level 85, isn't taking over the world with her um, damage. Um, let's see. Um, Alright, this is perfectly fine. One Blackbeard. Honestly, the biggest... The other thing that stops uh, Big Mom is that Luffy over there. Uh, super annoying because her skill one is super good, but the P2 people that can kind of stop it, at least in my estimation, are um, any Luffy and Ace because any Luffy is immune to electricity. All right, so how's Perona? The answer is very tricky. Uh, she seems to be always wanting to be by her capture point. She's like the exact opposite of the other Perona, who could very easily go across the map, but you also never wanted to attack with her. This one actually has the ability to attack and move at the same time, which was something that was introduced with what's her nuts? Um, Boa, I think? The new Boa that just released? I'm gonna stay back here and charge it a little bit. Um, mainly because there's. I just need to be by the treasure. That's really the best place for me. She takes less damage when she's by the treasure. You don't want to ever really take stuff with her, I find. Um, and she also gets her skill 2 faster. Um, the skill 2, which is these little ghosties. Which I can put right here. They charge back pretty fast, and they can hit anyone that hits, gets hit with them with negative. Like, I just hit that Blackbeard right there. Which I think also kind of screwed over, um, my own Blackbeard, to be honest. Uh, let's see, everything seems perfectly fine. He's not really having an issue, so I don't really see the need to move. I wish this had bigger range, because if it did, I would totally... I wonder if I can hit from down here. Let's find out. I've definitely seen them go up, but I don't think that's going to work here. Damn, we are winning the shit out of this. And I'm not really doing anything. <laughs> I got one! <laughs> I got someone! Um, but that's kind of the best thing about Perona, is that she's a defensive unit. So let me quickly... Let me quickly back away, because that's actually what I want to do. Got him! And we're all good here, baby. So that's kind of the good thing about her, is that she really doesn't want to be touched by anyone. Or anyone touch her. That was a waste of an effect. But I'm going to go back up here and kind of defend myself. I think I'm better up here than I am down there. Alright, let me quickly go up. Get my skill 2 charging. Yeah, I really hate this Luffy for a lot of reasons. I also need to figure out the exact range for this. For this move. Oh, he can't attack me. I don't know why he got off the point. Get off. Need you to leave. Bye bye, sir. Oh, there, that's bad. But no! That's just bad. Uh, no, did ours get it? No, ours did not get it. That's very bad, but we're fine for now. I think I hear a Blackbeard. 
we go here. I basically always want to be at a perimeter, which is the exact opposite of what... Um, let me go here, because the closer I am to my treasure, the better. But as you can see here, I'm making like a circle around the treasure for everything to be safe. Everything's kind of dialing down, so I'm going to back up. Go here. I think I got this guy. Yeah, I totally got that guy. Ah! You bitch! <laughs> How dare you! It's okay, I think we won. I think that's my best game with Perona, kind of just doing that. Oh, please defend the spot for just a little bit more, dude. You got it. Thank God for a Blackbeard player. <sighs> Hate to have him fight me. Love to have him on the team. Good job. I'm not even going to give him a like if he's the best one on me. If he wasn't, it was the Shanks. Go figure. But everyone did fantastic there. Great team, which allowed me to kind of go in the back and kind of um, just do the, what I wanted to do, which was just defend. She's a very weird defense unit, because most defense units really want to at least be close to the enemy when they're fighting. She really doesn't want to be anywhere near them. She wants to be as far away from them as possible, but she also wants to be like at a respectful distance. Um, but she also wants to be directly on the treasure point itself, so... It's a contradiction of a unit that I've been trying to get used to. I think the best way to play her is probably, um... Let your teammates kind of push forward, and then you in the back put out your ghosts and kind of disrupt the enemy, stop them from attacking. Um, which was the best way to play... Green Perona, I found, which was to be as disruptive as possible, because it was possible to completely shut down the entire enemy team with one little ghost, um, with uh, Perona's skill one. And her skill two was really made more for um, keeping people away from you. So both Peronas kind of don't want the enemy anywhere near them at all. Thank you for being unable to connect to the server. <laughs> I'm going to pause, and hopefully next time we play, I'll have something. All right, I found it. Let's see who we got on our team. This one actually has a new boa, which I haven't seen a lot of, um, which was surprising to me. I actually saw a lot of Peronas on day one. I didn't see a lot of boas. Um, that's the first boa I've seen the entire game. I've seen multiple people trying the new Perona, but I feel like a good percentage of them have dropped off, mainly because she seems very difficult to actually use. Um, and it's probably not for everyone, because she... It's probably a little bit of a boring playstyle for a lot of people. I swear to God, Ace. Okay, thank you. Appreciate it. Good dude. Good dude. That good dude. That dude. I love that dude. That was my dude. All right, I'm gonna go up here and see if I can help a little bit. Cause remember, disrupt. It. See, can you hear me? All right, perfect. So none of them can attack me now. And now I'm going to- what?! Alright, good job. Good job, Ace. I don't need to be the one to capture the treasure, it just needs to be captured. Is there someone down here? There totally is. Oop. need to back away. Unfortunately, he is too close. Oh, thank god for him backing away. Because now I can actually just have my ghosties chase him. <laughs> Come on. Get him. Get him, ghosties. Get him, ghosties. Damn it. You got the wrong guy. There was two dudes. Okay. Let me see. Oh, I hate this guy so much. For a good reason, too. There we go. Hit him. He's dead. If I catch him, he's dead. Got him. All I care is that he dies too. All I care is he dies too. Oh, I hate that character so much. So annoying. They made that Lucio stupid. They built him stupid. They built him so much better than the previous Lucio. It's not even funny. Alright, I did switch to Big Mom. But mainly because I just want to keep our lead up. Does he really think he can? Oh, he thinks he can. Alright, go. 
<laughs> I told him to go when I know full well that he could easily handle this guy. Alright, I'm gonna go steal this treasure. God, I hate you so much. That guy literally waited to just get Rob Lucio again, I bet. Come on! Uh, we're gonna lose because of that. No, we're not! We just keep keep up the advantage. Stop these all these Lucios. Now here's the unfortunate part about being a defender who's so goddamn slow is that all her moves are so slow, there's no way for me to stop them. Go, Ghosties! Stop them! Stop them, Ghosties! Oh, man. That's unfortunate. I picked the wrong side to try and help. Nothing I can do with that, though. So, yeah, that's Perona. The... It's gonna take a long time to get used to, and kind of like most defenders, she has the problem of being too slow. But also, her skills are insanely slow! There, as you can see there, it's great when you're built up, but if you're not built up in any way, shape, or form, it's very hard for you to, like, function. At all. If ever. But that's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it, and I'll see you guys in the next one, whatever that may be. Bye-bye!